causes responsible for the poverty again poverty what is a poverty poverty is a situation in which a in which people with they are unable when a people unable to complete their basic necessities is a poverty when people are unable to complete their basic necessities is known as the poverty that state in which a person unable to complete its need of food shelter and clothing that state of a economy where such people are living as known as the poverty poverty has generally two of its forms relative poverty absolute poverty relative poverty as when we study about the economic conditions of a country in relation to the per capita income or national income is known as the relative poverty and absolute poverty is absolute poverty refers to the that state of a economy in which the minimum caloric consumption minimum caloric consumption not completed by the individuals those individuals which are unable to complete their minimum caloric consumption means 2400 calories in rural areas this is as a required for a person for its normal growth and in urban areas as 2100 calories in a day so a person which is unable to complete its need of a 2400 calories in rural areas and 2100 calories in urban areas that person is considered as a below poverty this is as in relation to the absolute poverty afterwards we discuss as a methods methods related with the estimation of poverty poverty is generally estimated through the two of the methods expenditure method means total expenses spent by the individual for purchasing of their food requirements in daily second on their clothing items and third the types of the services available by the individual for completion of their needs for example rented apartment electricity bill water bill such kind of the services available by the individual so all these expenses they are collectively used for a estimation of a poverty second method as a income method through which as a those people which are living in a rural economies individually a person has spending as a 328 rupees per month 328 rupees per month is a above poverty but those people which are unable to spend 328 rupees in rural economy and 424 in a urban economy in urban areas the such persons are considered as a below poverty line afterwards uh, now as a current topic as the causes responsible for poverty causes responsible for poverty in india so first reason responsible for the poverty in india as a british rule under the 200 years of a british rule 200 years of british rule our economy it deprived most number of resources economic wealth it drained towards as the england by the britishers which visualized in a form of a poverty trends after the independence now as a second point grow grow sorry high growth rate of population high growth rate of population high growth rate our country's population is uh, regularly increasing at the time of independence our total population it was near about a uh, 35 crores 35 crores of a population it was as existed in independent india in 1947 and it, uh, when we are talking about a 2011 census as according to this as a uh, 121 crores total population is now as living in our country last year it was as a census year but due to as a pandemic situation census still has not conducted so it may be as a estimated that after the census report which will be as a occur on this year or it may be in a next year afterwards their report there will be the total population of our country it will be the cross a limit of 130 crores until 2045 it will in india it will cross the position or it will reach at the level of a at the level of a most populous country of a world most populous so our country's population is increase since independence towards the present since last 70 years our three times of the population three and a half times as the population of india population of our country is increased population of india increased 
in our country the growth rate of a population the increasing growth rate of a population has generally as the influenced by the 32 to 40 years within a 30 to 40 years india's total population it has doubled 35 crores of population at the time of independence it doubled till as a 1970s and 80s then afterwards as a till 2000 it becomes as a it crossed the limit of a 1 billion 1 billion now it is as the near about a 130 crores high growth of population means more demand more demand it will be as accomplished to the agricultural land, but there is a deficiency of land. Cities are expanding their surface area. Jalhandar occupying as the agriculture fields. If the land it will not available for agriculture, land not available for agriculture, how can a farmers they will produce? How can farmers produce crops? So simultaneously it impact over the supply. Demand is consistently increasing, but the supply decreasing day by day which visualize in a form of a inflation, hike in prices, hike in prices, inflation, hike in prices, increase in prices. So if the goods, they becomes as more expensive than the section, a large section of a population, they will unable to complete their need of a poverty. At the beginning, we discuss as expenditure method, when a person unable to complete their necessities if the goods if the grains if the cereals are the expensive due to as the inflation demand is consistently increasing but as compared to the demand supply reducing supply reducing day by day which leads as a inflation so due to the hike in the prices poorest they can't complete their need of a food so they will living under as the poverty they will consider under as a below poverty Clear? High growth rate of population has adversely impact over economy. Population growth, it is as a supportive in a such economies where surface area is a larger, larger boundaries of a country are there, resources are the abundant. Under such circumstances, they desire the population like the Canada. That's why as a population moving from India towards as a Canada, Australia, Canada, Australia, US, Russia. Why? Because of a more resources are available. In our country, human resources are more comparatively than natural resources. Human resource, it is as a more comparatively the uh, comparatively the natural resources. So that's why as Indian economy as a deprived, it declined. It is as a declining since since it's still as the developing economy. Indian economy is still as the developing economy, not as a fully developed. Unemployment poverty is still existing in our economy. Clear? Till there any questions? So population, high growth of population impact over the decreasing. It impact over the demands of a people. Regular increase in a demand influence over a influence over the hike in prices that's why as a large section of population unable to complete their need of food next reason third reason lack of industrialization lack of industrialization indian economy indian economy is a primarily as a agricultural based economy why we call it as a primarily agriculture based economy because are 70 percentage of a job opportunities provided by the agriculture and in and its allied activities 70 percentage of a job opportunities provided by the directly provided directly and indirectly provided by the agriculture sector directly as a directly job opportunities provided by the agriculture as a farmers laborers and second as indirectly as those industries which are associated with the agriculture means agro based industries cotton textiles jute industries sugar industries vegetable oil such industries are indirectly dependent upon a agricultural products afterwards the production their products are used for manufacturing of other goods in a such industries jute industries sugar industries cotton textiles Due to as a more burden, more burden of a population on a population on 
land areas there is a disguised unemployment are there disguised unemployed are there disguised unemployed it is as a situation in which more persons are employed as compared to the demand as compared to demand if we reduce the number of the workforce from production sites it will not impact over a production production it will be as a consistently constantly increasing as regularly because land is a similar soils are the similar time taken for a uh, harvesting harvesting or ripening of a crops is a similar extra workforce neither influence over a production clear so uh, disguised unemployed which are also known as a hidden unemployed or under employment all these are their problem it will it is as existed due to the agriculture based economy why as the agriculture based because lack industries are there lack of industries industries are not adequate in our country as per the demand the job opportunities are the lesser because of a industries are lesser two as a industrialization we can eradicate the we can solve the problem of a poverty clear next reason next reason responsible for next reason responsible for the poverty in india as a social factors social factors are also responsible for a existence of a poverty in india existence of poverty in india social factors like as a illiteracy people are not literate these are not professionally qualified these are not as a literate illiteracy large size of the families large size of families illiteracy large size of families illiteracy means as a people are not as a professionally qualified due to as a large size of the families parents are unable to provide as a better services to their kids better services here when we are talking about a before of independence at the time of independence most number of the families they were possessing as a 10 to 15 kids 10 to 15 kids it was as a normal in a society the reason behind the such number of bigger families as the people they thought that the number of a persons in a family means as a more number of a earning hands they are neither concerned about a what type of the services education education they will provide to their kids they at that time as a economy it was at their poor stage indian economy at its poor stage at the time of a independence so large size of families consider as the consider as the increasing as a sources of a capital earning for family earnings for family next as a law of inheritance law of inheritance is also responsible for poverty in india law of inheritance also responsible for a poverty in india for example law of inheritance means division of a land among the generations a person having as a four acres of a land which has having their four kids or either as a two kids are there two two acres it will be as a divide among the both the kids then afterwards again these two kids having as a two of their kids then one one acre this is as a law of inheritance division of a land among the coming generations that's why earlier that family which one family which earned as a 40 quintals from the four acres now as a 20 quintal quintals to the both families then the again as a two families they which were having as a 10 quintals so total production reduce if the production reduce means they can't sell their surplus production they they can't possess their surplus surplus extra production they sold in a market for a completion of other needs if the production is a lesser how can they will sell they will use a such amount of a grains for their survival subsistence clear subsistence law of inheritance division of land among the generations law law of inheritance also responsible for the poverty in india poverty in india clear law of inheritance this was as the fourth reason fifth reason responsible for the poverty in india as a unemployment 
unemployment is a peculiar problem in indian economy unemployment unemployment is a peculiar problem in indian economy indian economy the chronic underemployment chronic underemployment or unemployment unemployment it is as a situation it is as a state in which a person ready to work as a present wages present wages but unable to find a jobs unable to find jobs a person which is ready to work at present wages but unable to find a jobs is known as a unemployment it is known as the unemployment when a person unable to complete unable to getting a jobs either it is ready to work either it is ready to work at present wages is known as a unemployment due to as a unemployment people are not having their regular source of income if the income is not there how can they will complete their basic necessities that's why as a people are under poverty people are still living under poverty for eradication for removal of a poverty in india for which as a government of india has putting their efforts in concern of a generation of unemployment due to as a lack of job opportunities lack of job opportunities people migrating from their areas migration in our country as a international international both the types of a migration occur international within our economy within a country one state towards the other state people are moving from one district towards the other district for a search of a better living conditions employment clear people are moving from a punjab towards towards the delhi uttar pradesh rajasthan as a better living conditions better employment same as the people are coming from the bihar jharkhand chatisgarh west bengal towards as a punjab haryana and delhi for a better living conditions for better living conditions it is as due to as a unemployment it is due to as the unemployment these are the reasons responsible for the poverty in india causes responsible for poverty in india clear so any questions till there till there any questions so we are familiar as the what are the types of poverty how can we estimate the poverty how can we check that the poverty has existing in economy what are the reasons responsible for this now as solutions solutions how can we solve the problem of a poverty in india for the eradication removal of a poverty removal of poverty in our economy in indian economy government of india put there a large number of their efforts efforts for a removal of a poverty removal of poverty removal of poverty in relation to the removal of a poverty from an indian economy government of india put their efforts put their efforts for a eradication removal of poverty removal very good apran as a industrialization so these are broadly categorized into such efforts are broadly categorized into the two categories into the two categories poverty removal strategies strategies and poverty alleviation programs poverty alleviation programs programs poverty alleviation programs so removal strategies as a land reforms first land reforms land reforms after the independence after independent independence strategies in economy what efforts done by the government programs alleviation programs means for removal of poverty what kind of the 
policies implemented by the government of india for which as a what are the schemes programs means as a schemes different number of schemes initiated by the government of india in which some of are as a manrega manrega is a employment generation program employment generation program which we will discuss in a later clear mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act we will discuss about this in a detail so let's start from the first land reforms after independence of our country independence of india after independence of india independence of india government of india government of india took the some of the land reforms in relation to the improving the agriculture production agricultural production first as a it abolished the zamindari system abolished zamindari system abolish zamindari system in a zamindari system in last year you read about the three of our revenue systems introduced sorry four revenue systems introduced by the britishers ijadari system zamindari system mahalwari system deotwari system in such revenue systems britishers collected as a revenue directly from the farmers in which they given as a land on a certain period of time to the farmers farmers produce a crops afterwards after every season after every crop they paid a fixed amount of a revenue to the company revenue to the landlords and landlords paid the such amount of revenue to the company so role of a landlords come finish by the government of india zamindari system it means as a nobody is uh, nobody have uh, having as a authority of a landlords those which having as a their land they use a land for the production they need the responsible for a collection of a taxes from the people collection of taxes handled by the government government responsible for the collection of taxes clear revenue process it was as a finish which was as the uh, crop wise on a basis of a cropping season after every harvesting of a crop the half of the production 60 percentage of a production pay to the zamindars before of independence to the zamindars in a form of a revenue but this system finished after the independence of india second allocation of land allocation of land those people which came those people which came to india after the partition of a country after the partition a large number of a population coming towards india from a eastern and a western pakistan eastern pakistan the existing part of a existing parts of a bangladesh and a western pakistan from such areas after the partition of a country a large number of a population it entered in india it came to india so such population it living in our country as a permanent basis so for a such kind of a population employment generation for which as government allotted a land government allotted it allocate a land among the such refugees which came to india after partition which came to india after partition clear which came to india after partition third as a ban on ban on shifting cultivation shifting cultivation all these are the land reforms shifting cultivation so shifting cultivation which leads to the impact over a biodiversity biodiversity of india for the such kind of the acts the government banned government banned the shifting cultivation on a act of a shifting cultivation <coughs> <coughs> restrictions imposed by the government of india clear so such land reforms took place by the government just after independence to eradicate to solve the problem of poverty in indian economy second clear till there any questions second now after land reforms sorry land reforms now as a second sectoral growth of economy sectoral growth of economy growth 
of economy sectoral growth of economy after independence after independence a large section of a population yes pranay सर अपने रीजंस फॉर पॉवर्टी इन इंडिया जो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट कराया था उसके बाद जो कराया वो करा दो फिर से सर डिस्कनेक्ट हो गया था एक हमने कहा था वी डिस्कस एज अ फर्स्ट एज अ ब्रिटिश रूल इन अ ब्रिटिश रूल द हाउ द ब्रिटिशर्स एट वर्क के बाद लेट मी लेट मी रिपीट ऑल अगेन फर्स्ट एज अ ब्रिटिश रूल सेकंड एज द हाई ग्रोथ ऑफ पॉपुलेशन थर्ड एज अ लैक ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन lack of industrialization fourth was the as illiterate if the people are not educated how can they earn as a good salaries they will engage themselves in a low graded works like as a construction sweeping cleaning clear illiteracy responsible uh, it will be as a categorized under the social factors second as a law of inheritance law of inheritance responsible for the division of a land as a smaller and a smaller agriculture fields if the land fields if the agriculture fields are the smaller if the agriculture fields are the smaller then what will be as a impact the people they will produce as a lesser production lesser production means less income clear so this was these were as a social factors next as a unemployment unemployment or underemployment unemployment it is as a situation in which as in which more number of a people sorry in which as a person is ready to work as a present wages but unable to find a jobs unable to find jobs at present wages unable to find work at present wages present income is known as a unemployment unemployment clear unemployment unemployment it is as a situation in which as a, a person is ready to work as at present wages but unable to find a job if the person not having a job how can they will earn if the income is not there how can they will complete their needs their basic necessities how can they will uh, afford as a shelter purchase as a clothes or complete their food requirements so that person has living as a below poverty which is not having as a jobs clear those which are not possessing the those which are not having the jobs they will face as a problem of a poverty clear second as now the reasons is for, sorry solutions of a poverty in india sectoral growth after independence a large section of a population deprived under the under the poorest sections at the time of independence our total number of 57 more than 57% people were under poverty they can't un- complete their basic needs at that time the large size of a population 35 crores of population can't feed by the popul- can't feed by the government of india for completion of the needs of a food government imported the food grains from a foreign foreign areas so all the sectors primary sector secondary sector and tertiary sector all three sectors were deprived at the time of a independence for growth in a economy for improvements in economy government set up as a planning commission in 1950 planning commission in 1950 such planning commission afterwards afterwards as a 1950 it started as a planning of country in which as a five year plans initiated five year plans first five year plan targeted to the improve in agriculture production in first two agri uh, in first two five year plans government targeted the agriculture in which as a green revolution introduced you are familiar with the green revolution in which as production of our food grains especially the cereals wheat and rice wheat and rice in a parts of punjab haryana uttar pradesh through modern techniques of farming mechanization of agriculture hyv seeds use of hyv seeds fertilizers improved the production here the country not targeted as a complete economy as sectoral sector wise first primary sector targeted in the age of 1970s and 80s government targeted towards as a industry in which the industries improved in our country afterwards in 1990s telecommunication services telecommunication services the use of a mobile phone it was as a started afterwards in 1995 1995 as under the 
growth of tertiary sector still as a tertiary sector is a growing it's due to as a sectoral growth sectoral growth of economy government providing us make the more possibilities of growth in a different sectors that's why as to which as poverty trends now as a decreasing 27 to 29 people are still living under the poverty the reason behind as a growth population population is increasing as compared to the as compared to the supply of a goods or a services if we control on our population then after 20 30 years india it will be become as a developed nation where poverty and unemployment it will not exist our brain drain will not occur draining of a wealth will not occur clear draining draining of wealth it will not occur sectoral growth means turn wise sector by sector growth of economy and afterwards the independence government force has targeted over a primary sector especially the agriculture that's why the green revolution introduced when agriculture in india it which earlier has imported their food grains from us and from china towards india now afterwards and after 1960s india becomes as a self sufficient in food grains we are exporting our food grains towards other countries why because of a sectoral growth afterwards 1970s and 80s india targeted towards as a industrial growth then as a telecommunication services tertiary sector banking insurance health facilities they improved such kind of the services improved at the time of independence the large size of a families the reason one of the reason responsible as a medical facilities poor medical facilities at the time of independence poor medical facilities were responsible for a death of a most number of kids in a families out of the 10 15 kids rarely two to three kids were there in each family which crossed the age of a 20 years most number of kids die under age of a 20 years due to as a malnourishment mal nourishment clear kamanur mal nourishment due to as a inadequate health facilities most number of a children's day would die that's why as a it was also reason responsible for the high birth rate in india the large size of families in india but government through their efforts the sectoral growth of economy it improved the standard of a growth the standard of growth in economy development of processes it continued now which visualize in a form of a decreasing the trend of poverty in our country clear sectoral growth has sector by sector growth of economy first targeted towards a primary sector then secondary sector then afterwards now in a days tertiary sector is the fastest growing sector of economy tertiary sector is the fastest growing sector of economy third reason third solution as industrialization which was given by the apran industries industrialization industries are the solution of a poverty in india if the more number of industries especially as a industries associated with the agriculture agro based industries if we locate if we grow the more number of agro based industries manufacture the goods and such manufactured material exported towards other countries through which we can earn as a good margin one simple example is there simple example 1 kg of a raw cotton raw cotton selling in market at amount of 80 to 90 rupees am i correct 80 to 90 rupees cotton mil jata hai market mein per kg same cotton used for a used for manufacturing of a cloth and afterwards a that cloth denim denim jeans or a cloth shirt trousers they are selling in market at the amount of 1000 to 1500 So can you imagine raw material its cost as a lower by investment of a investment of 100 rupees 100 150 rupees investment of a 150 rupees in a power approximately as a for the manufacturing of a one trouser it will be as a 40 to 50 rupees 60 80 100 rupees okay 100 rupees is a sufficient for this 90 rupees for raw material 100 rupees on their expenses for manufacturing afterwards that product selling in a market at amount of 1500 rupees this is this is the big margin if the selling of rather as a selling of a raw material if india started to manufacture the industries locate as industries through which as people getting as a jobs 
people getting a jobs and afterwards some manufactured goods selling towards as a other economy then through which india it can earn as a good margin of a profit through which we can solve our problem of a poverty in our country industries are improving in our country but the pace of industrialization is a low graded pace of industrialization is a low graded industries desired is not adequately provided or available in our country clear this was our chapter rest we will continue on tomorrow as a same as strategies after what we will discuss as a four or five programs are there which targeted the government of india to eradication of poverty from indian economy clear thank you